Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Dan Fancy Creations. And before we get started with our tutorial today, I wanted to welcome any new subscribers. My channel has been growing so much lately, so I wanted to welcome all the new subscribers and thank you guys for your continued support and for tuning in each week just to kind of see what I'm going to create next. Um, I did want to let you guys know that I do have two other groups. I have a tutorial group on Facebook and a patron group. Sometimes with the channel growing so much, I'm not able to answer questions or get to comments as easily as I was when my channel was just kind of starting out. So my tutorial group is a great way to get your questions answered. I have great admins that help me out and the group is full of wonderful women that are always willing to help with any issues that other members may have. My patron group is a much smaller group, but it's more of a one-on-one, -on -one, more personal feel so that I can really focus on you guys, give you guys my attention and really help you kind of troubleshoot things that you may have going on. So if either of those groups may interest you, I am going to link them in the description so you guys can check them out. So for our tutorial today, it is going to be a summer themed tumbler. I am so glad that the weather is warming up. We have a boat, so warmer weather definitely means we get to take the boat out on the lake. So that is a huge plus for warmer weather for us. So this tumbler is going to be a beach themed tumbler, but instead of the bright colors that we may see typically on beach themed tumblers, we are going to be using pastel colors. I love how this came out. It is super sparkly, but it is also more kind of understated. It's not just like in your face. It's more just pretty and beachy and I really like it. Um, we are also going to be doing a Dawn Power Wash spray on top of the glitter. Um, I just did a little bit of the Dawn Power Wash, I guess you could say. I didn't want it to cover up too much of the glitter. I just wanted it to kind of look like the ocean foam kind of coming up in certain places. So I really love how this tumbler turned out. I hope you guys do too. And I hope that you're able to learn something from this tutorial and create your own version. If you do create a tumbler, please post it in the tutorial group so I can see. So if you guys are ready to see how I create this tumbler, let's get started. All right guys, so if you watch my videos, you know that I like to start with a prepped white cup that was spray painted with a white matte spray paint. I think it really helps the colors pop. So we are going to take our metallic spray paint. This is going to be where we apply our sand. And we are going to spray it as we turn the tumbler. So this is going to create that swirl pattern that we are going to base all of our other colors on. And the next color we're going to spray is Ocean Mist. So this is basically going to be the start of our ocean. And we are going to lightly spray this along the metallic so it will look like the ocean is coming up on the sand. And be sure to spray your bottoms when you do this step as well. We are going to apply different glitters on the bottom. And the next color in our sunset lineup is going to be candy pink. It is a light pink that I really like. And we are going to spray this along the edge of the ocean mist color on both sides. And our last pastel sunset color is going to be Harvest Peach. 
and we are going to spray this directly in the center of the pink. It had a little bit of a wider spray, so I did go back with um, some of my other spray paint colors and just kind of touch up little areas. That is the good thing about spray paint is you can easily blend the colors, go back and touch up little areas if you need it. So I was just kind of going around with the different colors and blending them a little bit better so that when we go to apply our glitter, it is fairly easy to get that gradient look that we are going for. And once our spray paint is dry, we will be ready to apply our glitter. So today I am going to be using the epoxy method to apply my glitter. I am just taking a decent amount of epoxy and smoothing it onto my tumbler. I like to use a little bit more than some people do when doing the epoxy method. I typically use probably about 10, 15 milliliters. I do kind of smooth it out and get off any of the excess epoxy that is on there, but I like my glitter to be absorbed into the epoxy so that when I go to apply my next glitter color, the glitter is tacky enough to hold the next color. If you don't use a lot of epoxy, the glitter will definitely stick to the tumbler, but the epoxy will not soak it up so that that glitter will be tacky that we need to adhere the next glitter. So definitely make sure all your bubbles are popped. And then we will be ready to sprinkle our glitter. So today, the color that we are going to apply first is going to be the sand, which is Americano by Peachy Olive Glitter. And for this one, I am just going to sprinkle it along the edge of the metallic color that we sprayed for the sand. I sprinkle it as the cup is turning both ways. That way the glitter will fall to the left and to the right of the tumbler and it will create that gradient look that we are going for. So as it spins, the glitter will start to get absorbed by the epoxy, which is what we want, so that that glitter will be tacky enough to hold our next color. So there was one spot that did not get covered well with epoxy. I would typically put my gloves on, but I just touched it for a second and washed my hands really good afterwards. I don't think I have ever done one tumbler without getting epoxy on me, no matter what, even though I try really hard not to. <laughs> So for our next color, we are going to be using Mojito from the Drunk Flamingo. And I am going to fill up my tea strainer. This is how I will typically apply any glitter if I am using the gradient technique or if I just want light coverage on my tumbler. And we are just going to sprinkle it along the ocean mist spray paint 
and we are going to overlap the Americano glitter so that we get that gradient look that we are going for for this tumbler. I am also sprinkling a little bit onto the pink spray paint. And again, we are getting the bottom right here. So the next color we're going to be using is Fuzzy Navel by Peachy Olive Glitter. And this is going to go on the orange spray paint. I am applying the orange before the pink so that the orange and the light green have a chance to get absorbed by the epoxy and create that tacky top that we are looking for so that our next glitter, which will be the pink one, will stick to both glitters. And the pink that we are using is Starburst Martini from the Drunk Flamingo. And again, we're just going to fill our tea strainer up with a little bit and sprinkle it right between the green and the orange glitters. And this is pretty much it for glitter application. Once this epoxy layer dries, we will apply our next layer of epoxy. So now this is dry, we're going to apply a decently thick layer of clear epoxy. Typically it's about 20 milliliters. I don't usually measure my epoxy. I mix enough epoxy for at least five cups minimum at a time so i just kind of guess at how much i use per tumbler so even though i may put a lot on i smooth it out from top to bottom and get rid of any of that excess epoxy that may be on there we don't want it super thick especially not on our bottoms And once we get all of our epoxy on there, we are going to hit this with our torch and pop all those bubbles. If you don't have a torch, I do recommend getting one. It is 10 times better than a heat gun or even a small torch. I got mine from CCDIY and I love it. And after this layer of epoxy cures, we are ready to do the Dawn Power Wash. So I went ahead and sanded this really well, cleaned up my rims and my bottoms, and now we're going to spray the Power Wash. We are going to spray the Power Wash completely over the sand part of our tumbler because I don't want any ocean foam on that part. So we are going to need Dawn Power Wash and just regular flat white paint. And don't forget your bucket of water. And when doing this technique, keep in mind that wherever you spray your Power Wash, the spray paint will not. So we are going to spray our Power Wash right along the shoreline of our beach. I sprayed a pretty thick layer just so no spray paint gets on there and then the rest of the tumbler i just sprayed a medium amount of soap now we are going to take our white spray paint 
and just spray the entire tumbler. And towards the top of the tumbler, I did not spray the spray paint as thick just because I didn't want it so opaque. I wanted the spray paint thick along the shoreline because that's where ocean foam would be the most prevalent. And then it kind of fades as it goes out into the ocean, <laughs> if that makes sense to you guys. So this is what it looks like. And once this dries, we will be ready to apply our decals. So I typically do not epoxy um, after the power wash and before the decals. I just wash it, make sure all the soap residue is off of it, and then we are ready to apply our decals. For this tumbler, I decided to add some cute little turtles just along the shoreline or the sand, whatever you want to call it. These turtle files I've had for a while. Um, I may have gotten them from Creative Fabrica. I do have a subscription to there. And we are just going to peel them off and apply them to our cup. And we are just going to smooth them on really well. I will say if you are going to use a metal or holographic vinyl, you do want to make sure that wherever you are applying the decal that your cup is very smooth. Metals or holographic vinyl do tend to show flaws much worse than regular matte vinyl. So definitely make sure your tumbler is smooth before you go to apply these. And then we will apply our last little guy. I did have a larger turtle cut out, but he was a little bit too big. So we're just using the same size turtles. These may be about two inches. And I obviously could not decide on placement for this little guy. <laughs> but once we get our decals on, I will give the vinyl a little bit of time to adhere to the tumbler. And then it will be ready for our final layer of epoxy. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this. I love how this pastel beach swirl turned out. I thought it was super fun, super cute. If you guys do decide to try your hand at one of these, please post in the tutorial group. I would love to check out what you make. And here are some finished pictures of how mine turned out. I love how it looks. And thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check out my Facebook group or my Patreon group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.